no clue. That passenger. We are crew. Crew. Clue. We are crew, not passengers. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Isaac, we take care of how we're doing our grading today. Our work with Crew in Michigan City is really grounded in the belief that great learning starts with great relationships. Students need to feel a strong sense of purpose, agency, and belonging in order to really maximize their social engagement, their academic engagement at school as well. When I went to Crew, I was like, Crew's new? I never heard about Crew. Greet as many people as you can around the circle. I really have been excited about how they've just jumped right in and in like true crew form, let's let's go and do this. And under your guidance, as well as the support of um, others within our network. We've built in a lot of supports, bringing in additional opportunities through EL. Our teachers attended the summer professional development and that was a starting point. We have groups of teachers that are still collaborating. So the commitment has been pretty exciting to see. Today for our clue class, what we're going to do is talk about academic achievement and what it means to all of you. I think there's just such a need for social emotional work with students and this gives us an opportunity to address that, to work with kids, to really let kids know that we're in this with them. How would you describe it? I'll be honest, my initial reaction was, okay, what else do I have to plan another lesson for? And with it being new, it was kind of hard to determine how it was really going to go. And you can be totally honest, does anyone here feel like they don't belong in this academic community? Why? If I don't understand, like, in my brain, it feels like I won't ever understand. It's like I sometimes stop trying to do that thing. There's still some shyness, but I think my biggest benefit in seeing it is that they realize that other people have issues that may be better or worse, that they're not the only one. What are some of the subjects you just didn't feel it? Andrew? History. History? Okay. From the first start, I didn't really like her because like, I didn't really know nobody there. It was more of us just sitting around in complete silence. Once we started circling up, that's really when it began to change. And then I got used to it. Like, people in my crew, I feel like I helped them calm down and just, you know, be they self. What do you think about the academic mindsets of your fellow, your, your fellow classmates? <laughs> I feel like they don't take school seriously. Yeah. Now, I can, like, go in there and explain my feelings because it's not a problem to me anymore. I feel like I have something to look forward to every day. Why do you think the mindset you chose is the most challenging right now? I would say going forward, I'm really excited to be able to go through and have that bank of lessons ready for us to implement in our classrooms. I think it'd be awesome because they seem to like it. I'm going to give you a scenario. I, I need you to imagine what kind of chain reaction could happen from it. I don't believe a, a student can be very successful in school unless they have some foundation for themselves. Did you ever think about emotions being contagious? Maybe somebody's mad and they put your anchors on them. We used to do it after lunch, which wasn't really good. I liked it in the morning because it has us getting in the mood to actually do schoolwork. Why do you think it's important to think before you take action? It could uh, affect other people around them. Grew turned my experience of enjoying the time and being acknowledged by some people instead of being like crouped up and not being noticed at all. Main thing with crew is you can be yourself and not try to be somebody that people expect you to be. Why don't you guys share with each other and see if your ideas are the same. I would say the biggest struggles when kids show up not feeling like doing crew. Those are the days you need to kind of just let go and say, what do you need today? So learning how to let go of that and try to get the kids leading crew. We're still struggling on that, but we're working on it. Over a big milestone will be to say, uh, how do these students here start leading into that? We hear more of their voices, mm -hmm. um, more of the structures that allow them to make crew their own. We take staff surveys and we do student surveys. Obviously it's not perfect. They're really working through that process, what 
it works and, and how they can make it more meaningful and impactful for our students. Our staff does a, just a marvelous job of allowing our students to express themselves. So, you know, that's helped, you know, manifest everything throughout our school. Even as we had envisioned to go further, there's a lot to celebrate here, and I think that's been critical, that's been really powerful. I led crew of kids your age for 28 years, and I don't get to lead crew that much anymore. It's also been powerful to share models. And I wanna teach all of you a little ASL this morning. Thanks to the teachers being open and willing to open up their classrooms for Ron to come in and share a new perspective on circling up and engaging in initiative and reflection debrief together. Oh, I love your bravery, great courage. It's flexible for what's going to work with your team. It's nice because you can pause and go as you feel comfortable with your crew and what they need. I look at it progress through progression. So get your kids comfortable, have a little patience and enjoy the journey with them. All right, can we give all of us a hand here? I can only imagine that Michigan City, a school, a district of 10 schools that are implementing this, sharing their practice, the impact that's going to ripple from here to other schools across the country, across the world. And perhaps that's what we learn at the end of the day, is that to implement crew, it takes crew. And that's what we're figuring out with our partners. When I think back to being in the classroom, I used to do a community circle. And just knowing the level of relationships that you build through that, when you have that with your students, they're able to achieve so much more. Best part about crew, the experience and the activity that we do. It's a way to talk to each other. It gives me a chance to just like refocus. To get to know people and people to know you. Talk about the things that went well, the things that didn't go well. Made me more positive. So you're not as tired during the day of school. And now we just all together, it's just easier. They're understanding that everybody has problems, everybody has stuff. It's a very freeing, it should be very freeing. Crew on three, one, two, three, crew! <laughs> all right, you guys have a great rest of your day.